what's up guys thank you so much for clicking on this video welcome on back to my brand new survival let's play this is going to be episode two in today's episode we are actually going to be expanding the fields i actually found a carrot from a zombie so i'm going to be planting some carrots as well as a lot more wheat and we're also probably going to be just breeding up the cows and hopefully making a, a pig pen and then after we do that, we are going to be going exploring, trying to find a village, pandas, bamboo, whatever else we can find. Let's get on into it. Okay, so right off the bat, the first thing you might notice since last episode is obviously we planted a little bit more wheat, but we dug this pond out a little bit deeper, random dirt block, that's okay. And over here, our mine entrance, I told you guys I was going to spice it up, and that's exactly what I did. Oh, found some cows too. I did a little bit of work off camera, I'm not going to lie. I uh, spiced it up a little bit, it still looks very rough down here. I wanted a little support beam, I've got another one right there. But yeah, it still looks very rough down here, I've not textured it out, I have just spiced it up. I didn't have a lot of blocks to work with, but I think it looks 10 times better than it did. If you remember, it was just a little dirt entrance right here, but now it looks like actual cave entrance that we just walked down. I was starting our strip mine area. I was getting it hollowed out. And right when I go to strip mine, I found a mine shaft. Now, I didn't open it, the chest, and I didn't go too deep either, because I wanted to do that with you guys on camera. Even more exciting is down here, we found another part of the, the mine shaft, and turned the corner and found a zombie spawner it had no chests in it unfortunately it had no chests but i think i'm going to be in the next episode i will definitely be making a zombie uh, xp form no question but in today's episode we are not going to be hanging out down here however i am going to be getting whatever's in these chests on camera with you guys Oh my god, fortune three out of a chest in the mine shaft, that is, that is absolutely insane, I cannot believe we just found that, wow, okay, uh, I'm definitely going to be saving that for a diamond pickaxe though, and I believe I found another chest up here, so let's see what we have in there, as well as some, another emerald here, so i gonna pick that up while we can. But I believe it was down here, right around the corner. Yep. Right here. Alright. There's a creeper. Let's block him off for now. Let's see what we got in this chest. Thorns 1. That's not very good, but... Okay, it is nighttime. There's monster spawning. I'm going to run in bed and sleep the night away. Do not want to be dealing with monsters. Okay, let's give them a second to uh, despawn. There he goes. Dead zombie. So first things first, obviously I'm going to need to grab my hoe. Okay, so we got it expanded back a little bit further. We're going to wait till these get all completely ready. And then we're going to get the seeds from it and push it back a little bit further. Alright, we pushed it back a little bit further and rounded it off. I'm liking how this is going to look, especially when we get wheat and it's going to be grown up. It's gonna look amazing we should probably build up a little bit of an area like a pin just like that one for a uh, some pigs probably put it on this side or maybe a little bit further up right there I don't know yet but if we're gonna do that we are gonna need some carrots okay so we got this rounded off a little bit we're going to be obviously putting some water down and uh, okay I think we got one more to fill up yep one more we're gonna have to make a new hoe burn through this one already Okay, I love the way it rounds off here. And we got another one here that's also rounded off. It's going to look incredible. I also, like right past these uh, mountains up here, I also found some uh, spruce. So we got a uh, spruce sapling. Probably going to plant somewhere around here. It is nighttime though, so we better get to sleep. Don't let any of these baddies spawn. I'm going to grab that carrot. We do have a little bit of seeds, so grab those. Grab this carrot. I'm going to put up my goodies. 
that I found in that cave. Put all these goodies in here for now. We also got some beetroot seeds. I forgot about that. So we're going to have to make a plot for those too. But we'll worry about that after we put these down. Okay, let's see how much exactly of this plot we can fill up. Okay, not bad, but nowhere near enough. I think the next time we harvest, we definitely will be able to fill the rest of this up. Then we'll be actually on our way to getting a lot of wheat. Definitely enough to start breeding up those cows. We also have our single carrot. We're going to place right there. Okay, I think this is enough to make a pig pen. I'm thinking I want it right up here, right next to the cows. Let's get a circle pat pattern going, just like I made on the other one. Bring it up this way. Go back down. So we got a little bit of this oval action going. Something about like that. I Let's place torches around to keep our pigs nice and lit up. Pigs are way dirtier than cows, so I just needed to pat this down. We're going to have to make up some fence gates to go right there, just like these ones. Okay, we got our gates. We're going to go ahead and place those down. And then we'll be done with this pen. All we'll need to do now is find some pigs after our carrots grow. All right, welcome back, guys. I have been AFK for a while, just planting these... uh seeds over and over again as well as the uh carrots but everything's full now got the whole d fields done i think i'm gonna go around the fields now and i think i'm going around the fields with some cobblestone just like we did the animal pins as well as some andesite and just kind of just kind of like making a little bit of a wall just a little bit of a border that's not looking bad from back you know back here that, that back side's looking pretty good I'm liking that, so we're just going to continue this. This little pattern we got going on here. Take this all the way around. Let's add the wall. Now we're just going to complete this back side over here on the wall. I think that looks good. Let's go ahead and finish. Uh, just another layer here. Take that down. So we've got the wall in place, the border. And I'm thinking it's looking amazing, so we're going to take a little step back and just see how it all came together. Look at that. I love that. I think that looks amazing. Now what we're going to do next, just to finish it off, is we're going to come through here and create a little bit of a road. Just because I don't know what's all going to be in this area, but I'm thinking I'm probably going to start... Just having like an exit, you know, an exit and an entrance into this little home that we have. You get a look from this side, and it's looking incredible. I think now is the perfect time to go exploring. Put my shield on. I got an extra pickaxe. Tools are good. Got a little bit of food. Okay, we've made it on top of this mountain. We have not found any sheep yet, but we did find this little lava fall that's actually setting the forest on fire, <laughs> unfortunately. But this is an actual... I actually like this area a lot. Okay, uh, I think down there, and yeah, past this direction is where we came from. That's where our hobbit hole is. That's our home. And we made it over this far, just circle around. What I'm going to do is I'm going to keep looking for some sheep, make a bed, and then I'll bring you guys back when I find, whenever I find anything interesting. Hopefully a village. And there we go. We found us a village. Let's check it out. Let's see what it's got. I'm hoping it's got a saddle somewhere in here. I also plan on off camera transporting transporting a couple of these villagers by boat to back to the uh, to the base. Cause I want to get a villager breeder pretty much ASAP. Look at these horses. Man, these are pretty horses. Man, I, I really hope they got a saddle in here somewhere. I am gonna be taking this blast furnace as well as these bricks man they this village didn't have anything that's unfortunate nothing in that one either okay so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna keep looking bring you guys back when i find another village okay this one's actually a lot 
not a lot but this one's bigger than the last one and the last one is literally right down that way so I've traveled in a straight line and walked on this one so we're gonna check the buildings hopefully we can find a chest I would love a saddle here's a blacksmith let's see if they got anything uh I'll take the obsidian take the grindstone here's another chest we got a book and a bunch of food we got some potatoes we had not found any potatoes yet so that's a score but still haven't found a saddle let's check these houses down here still no saddle let's hope we find another chest we got a couple more houses down this way to check out and then we're gonna sleep the night away no not on that one either Okay, I think this is the last house. I'm hoping there's a chest in there, but we are getting very full on inventory. So, unfortunately, my computer stopped recording, so I didn't get to uh, record the trip back. But I eventually did find a, a saddle in that village, but it was just one saddle. I couldn't find any more, unfortunately, so hopefully I can go into the nether or find another village and get myself a uh, saddle. What I'm going to do now, I think, to close off this video is probably build up a little uh, stables area right at the end of this pond. Probably back here, I'm going to push this back and then uh, build up a little area for a stables. And then I'll probably find a horse off camera to put in there. Let me push this back. Let me get this area set up. And then I'm going to bring you guys back to show you what I'm talking about. Okay, so I push this area back a little bit. And now what I'm going to do is gather up a little bit of wood. I just built, or made, I just made a brand new shovel, I have a brand new axe, so I'm going to go around getting a little bit more wood gathered up, and then I'm going to start the frame. Okay, we're back, and I know this kind of looks goofy right now, but trust me, I'm going to put a little bit of a rounded uh, roof on the sides. I think it's going to look amazing after I get a little bit of a spiked roof on that, or a coned roof, and then uh, sloped round roofs on the two sides. So I'm going to get the roof done, and then I'll worry about the walls. But I'm going to get the roof on, and I'll bring you guys back. Okay, guys, we just finished getting the roof on, and I... Well, I'm going to cut this bamboo down real quick. I don't like the way it looks when it grows up this tall. Let me show you. This is what we've gotten done so far on the roof. It's pretty much done all together. Well, it is done. Um, I need to get the walls on this part here as well as down on this bottom floor since this video is running long now I'm just gonna finish that up and then show you and we're back we just finished the roof the walls and the interior I don't have any horses just yet but I plan on getting them off camera maybe not a lot just a couple to start with but we got their little stalls to bring them in and in the center, I got a little bit of hay stacked up for their feed and a little storage. Then it just vents out the top, as well as these other stalls. And I love how it turned out. We put a little bit of coarse dirt on the ground to make it a little bit more wore out. And we created this path that connects with the other ones. So that's going to be it for this video. But before we go, I'm going to go ahead and activate shaders and do a little walk around of what we've completed in the episode. Alright, so we got shaders activated now, and this stables looks incredible. It's going to look even better when I get lanterns instead of the torches, but even now it just looks incredible. So I'm loving how that turned out, as well as the fields over here. They turned out incredible. So there's the fields next to the pond. It's got the border going around it the mine entrance and the stables this looks incredible all right thank you guys so much for watching this video if you did enjoy any of it at all i want you to do me a huge favor and hit that like button as well as comment any suggestions that you may have and please consider subscribing if you enjoy my videos but that is going to do it for me in this one Thank you very much for watching.